why was there such a fanatic effort to enclose lands? That is the major question that one must ask and in the 16th century we have already seen that actually the prices of wool went up in the world market and that is why this movement started of enclosing land. But here the picture was very different. Now there was great demand of grain in the market, of the food grains in the market. And that is why the enclosure movement started at such a fanatic speed. First of all, the grain production had to be increased to meet the needs of the people and for that they needed to enclose more and more land. At this time Britain was industrializing which meant it needed lots of raw material for their production in the industries. Again it needed to be dependent on the crops that is again on the fields and therefore the lands had to be enclosed. Well, there was a steep rise in the urban population which meant that lots of people had to be feeded with food and for this what happened? The rise in the price started and when the prices rise in the market of the food grains again people or the farmers want to make more and more profit and want to bring more and more land under cultivation. At this time France and England were at war with each other which meant that the trade was highly disrupted. When the trade was disrupted the prices of the food grains skyrocketed in England which meant again people rushing towards enclosing more land for grain production. When the profits increased to that level the big landowners, the rich landowners pressurized the parliament to legalize the enclosed land. So you see in a nutshell it was the demand for food grain which led to the enclosure movement in this century and not the sheep that we had seen that is the prices of wool in the market in the earlier times. Well, this can also be called as the age of enclosures in England and the period of 1780s is considered to be a different period in the history of England for many reasons. We see that in the earlier times whenever the population used to increase there used to be shortage of food grains that is the production or the agricultural production could not meet the needs of the rising population. But here it was different. 80% of the food grains consumed by the people were grown in the country itself. And remember it was not due to any agricultural innovation, not due to any agricultural new implements, not due to any pesticides. It was just due to one big change that had come and that was the enclosing of land, bringing more and more land under cultivation. I will talk about it in the next clipping.